everybody, Rick Unum handicapping thoroughbred racing from nearby Charlestown Races and Slots Casino, Charlestown, West Virginia, on Wednesday, April the 4th, and this is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race three tonight, folks, 8 13 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a six and a half furlong sprint on the dirt track. Four year olds and up race for a claiming prize of some $11,000. Contenders number three, Ford Apache Star, number one, Karina Bay, number six, Guska's Gold, and number seven, Tyler's Jewel. Number three, Ford Apache Star takes a big class drop of some 19 class units. It's the overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at or about tonight's distance of six and a half wrongs on the dirt, has produced power run performances facing better company in his last five starts. Number one, Karina Bay, a 9-2 shot, comes off a power run place finish in his last start, missing a circle trip in that race by just a photograph head at the wire. He's also produced a quartet of power runs in his last five starts. Race three, summary, number three, Ford Apache Star, tops the contenders list today, which also includes number one, Karina Bay, number six, Guska's Gold, and number seven, Tyler's Jewel, 3167 in the third from Charlestown. Bonus long shots on Wednesday, Hawthorne, race number six. Number eight, Taddy's Gold, a 15 to one bomb. Takes a slight class drop, is a speed leader in its optional claiming field, racing at or about today's distance of a mile on the turf. Charlestown, race seven, number three, Brooks in town, nine to two in the morning line. Drops in class by 10 track master units. The overall speed leader in this maiden field, sprinting at tonight's specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt. However, kindly note that I'm using the term speed with some pointed sarcasm. So from Charlestown, on a Wednesday night, Rick Neal for DayAtTheTrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.